All right, it is a super duper beautiful day in the bluegrass, by far the nicest day of the year. And what we're gonna talk about today is managing multiple puppies. You know, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions from my online clients about how to manage multiple puppies. You know, should I work them separately? You know, sometimes when you have two puppies and you're trying to work them, they can frustrate each other and, you know, uh, aggravate each other a little bit. And so we're going to work on that a little bit today. And I'm going to show you kind of uh, how I approach having two dogs in one household. I don't look at having two dogs in one household as like a separate thing. I kind of look at them as one unit. It's kind of like having children, you know, you just manage a family as a unit you don't manage your children really individually so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take and we're going to walk through my course and we're going to use the course to kind of encourage some cooperation between the dogs with each other and between the dogs and me but i want the dogs to learn how to work together as a unit okay so as we go out here and we start this course one of them's going to have kind of a little bit of a tendency to be the line leader you know how when you're in grade school <laughs> And uh, so they tell you every week somebody gets to be the line leader. Well, it's the same thing when you're managing two dogs. So what I'm going to do as I go through this course is I'm going to selectively reward these dogs for being cooperative and making good decisions. And now look, I'm going to let one of them be a line leader here. So Ammo is the line leader. Wait, wait. And Ammo is a couple of weeks older than Sadie, so it makes it a little bit easier. He's just a teeniest bit more mature. Okay, easy. And then when you're working two dogs, like watch right here, I'm going to go to do these obstacles. So I had to kind of swing out a little farther. When you're walking dogs in brace, it takes a little bit of planning and forethought. So here I go towards my obstacles. And again, watch, I'm going to separate them a little bit. Let Ammo be the line leader. Good. And Sadie follows right along. Good. Again, Ammo's being the line leader. Wait. Ammo does his job, Sadie does her job, and they maintain their position relative to each other. Very nice. Now we're going to speed up just a little bit. Very nice. And then I'm going to slow them down. Easy. Very good. Wait. Good. And if you structure this kind of stuff right, guys, then from the dog's perspective, wait, uh, it's, it's, it works out to their benefit to be cooperative. You know, they're like, uh, you know, they're, they, they understand that being out here and being on this course, like this one can't really go too far without this one, and neither one of them can go very far without me. So they have to learn that we're walking as a unit. Now, what else happens here is a little bit easy of uh, competition, you know? These guys, they'll wanna compete. And if I just let them compete actively, then what would happen is they would be like racing through here or being rude or wrestling or carrying on. And so what I have to teach them to do is to compete passively. So right now, like as we came down this little obstacle and these dogs get calm and quiet, they're trying to win the game of making Stoney happy. And look, they just did. Okay, so let's go through this course again. Hup. Very nice. We start to get a little bit more casual in the way that we're walking. Hup. Very nice. Very nice, easy. Oh, you two are so smart, easy. Very nice, easy. Oh, very smart. Now I'm gonna separate them. Ammo is gonna be the line leader, ammo. Very nice, wait. I'm gonna wait them. And all they have to do is maintain their relative position. I give my treats on the pause points for the most part when I'm doing the obstacle course, easy. I'm going to swing out wide, bring my leash in tight up for one obstacle, and then separate. Ammo becomes the line leader again. And what Sadie has to do is learn to, again, keep her pace relative to Amos' pace so that she doesn't overtake him. Wait. Very nice. Very good dogs. Line leader Amos, or Ammo goes down. Very nice. And up. Good. Very good dogs. Easy. Very nice weight. Doing very well. I appreciate it. And again, these guys are being cooperative, but they're also, there's an element of competition. You know, they're competing with these other dogs uh, for my attention and my approval and uh, these uh, food rewards, right? They're competing with each other to see who can, you know, uh, get noticed when we're doing this uh, uh, complex activity 
And remember guys, when you go out with your puppies, the more complex the physical and mental activity is, okay, the greater degree of precision that you're going to be able to exert on uh, influencing their behavior. Good dogs. I'm going to bring them up here and make them stay. Up, up. Very nice. Oh, back up. Sit. Stay. Good. Now at this age, I don't care when I tell them, you'll notice sometimes I'll just tell them to sit or stay. Yeah, you know, I don't care whether they sit or in, in, and stay or they lay down and stay. I really just care that they understand that I'd like for them to, to maintain this position here. I want them to stay in that place. And then later on in their life, uh, I can you know refine that further and ask them to stay in a specific posture, whether that posture is, is, is sit or down or stand or a rollover. A, you know, because a, a stay in the middle of a rollover is a play dead. We might get to that one of these days. Good dogs are doing well. I'm going to go over here and do some cone drills. Come on, pups. Very nice. So I'm going to walk over here. Good. And if I'm having trouble with the dogs kicking out, again, I can use my little side panel here. I'm going to start walking them. Good. I've got me some cones set up here. Very nice. I've added a barrel today because sometimes... Like it's a little harder to go around a, uh, something that's blind you can't see over. Easy. Now see, I get one out of position there. Oh, and I just take a moment and uh, reconfigure them. Now I've got my cones over here, and we're going to weave in between these cones. Very nice. Easy. Oh, very nice. Selectively reinforce them when they're doing well. Good. Now I'm going to go for an outside turn on this cone. Easy. Oh, very nice. <clears throat> I'm going to do my weave. Weave through these cones. Very nice. Very nice. Good. I got a barrel coming up. The barrel's kind of hard. You know, they can't see around it. Good. Whoa, slow down a little bit, ammo. We're doing an inside turn here. You have to slow them down on the inside turns. Very nice. Now I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to put them against my little homemade wall. And I'm going to ask them to sit sit very nice and now you're not going to get in the beginning when you're working two dogs perfect compliance you know what i'm saying like see ammo he's where he's supposed to be if i was just working sadie by herself she would be where she's supposed to be but since i'm working them together i have to accept that you know it's going to take me a few repetitions to get them set in, in 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 perfect alignment that's okay though let's go come on come on now once i get on the course ammo is going to become my line leader again so I'm going to separate my leashes for just a second. Very nice. Very nice. Now I'm going to bring my leashes back together. Hup. Oh, you're so smart. You guys are such a smart unit. Very nice. Now if Ammo starts getting a little too excited, I pull on his leash just a tad bit. And since I have that halter on him, I can influence his speed. Good. Now they're making their turns well. So I'm going to go ahead and reinforce them just a little bit. Very nice. Now I'm going to separate my leads. Let Ammo be the line leader. Up. Very nice. Wait. Come in. Give them a treat on the pause points. Good. I'm going to go off of this obstacle. And, and, and just like driving a big truck, I'm going to spin around. Easy. Oh. Very nice. So now I can take a little bit bigger path. Good. Up. Now Ammo becomes my line leader again. Very nice. Oh, and we got uh, we got a traffic jam. Sadie, go up there. <laughs> Good. Wait. Good. And this is what you like, guys. You like for the dogs to want to do the work. You know, you want them to be following along, seeing what they can get into. Watch out, nerds. Ammo's my line leader on the obstacle. Very nice. Now I'm gonna slow him down. Easy. And wait. Oh, that's perfect, guys. That's perfect. So we'll come off this obstacle. Easy. Very nice. I'm going to come over this obstacle, and then I'm going to... Oh, now you guys can work together again. You can get beside each other. Good. Very nice. Now we're back onto our cone drills. I'm going to walk. We're going to do an inside turn around the barrel. I'm going to drop my hand to my hip a little bit to keep the dogs inside to keep them from what they call forging see how i'm doing this right here good on the outside dog i'm gonna come up here and weave here you go on big giant german short hair good easy 
Oh, very nice. Get back a bit close, Ammo. Very nice. Now I'm going to do an outside turn, or an inside turn, I mean. Good. Very nice. I'm going to do an outside turn on this because I think I forgot to practice the outside turn. So I bring my hand out in front just a little bit more. And since ammo is on the far outside, I got to really kind of bring my hand out there. And now we're going to have to walk around a giant German short hair pointer. And so look, guys, this is what happens in real life. You're out and just some random 100-pound German short hair pointer comes up and gets in your... <laughs> gets in your way look that's just what happens you know life is full of crazy stuff very nice good watch out giant dog now we're gonna do an outside turn come on come on come on I gotta encourage them just a little bit oh you can do it very nice all right now even under this heavy distraction of this new dog falling around I'm gonna try to get a little bit of compliance on my sit so a little bit of pressure on ammo sit it good and this is a little bit closer so I'll reward that that's nice good let's go now I'm gonna turn my side block into a back block so I can get a nice sit and stay so I'm gonna pivot here good sit and can you come up here and sit good drop my leash give them the Darth Vader hand stay and they have to stay regardless of what those other dogs are doing now, since these guys are just babies, this one's 15 weeks old or so, and this one's 18 weeks old or so, I gotta come back and give them treats every so often, but that's all right, no big deal. Just remember guys, with your treats, it's just like training wheels, just, you know, you use them till you don't have to use them anymore. Now we're gonna start back. Oh, very nice. Let's start with an outside turn. Oh, come on, fine animals. Come on, fine animals. You're doing very good. Oh, very nice. Come on, come on, oh. Good, good. Now we're going to walk through here a little bit with our weave. Very nice. Ignoring this big giant German short hair. Good. <laughs> and an inside turn. Oh, very nice. You guys are doing perfect. Oh, perfect. Good. Easy. Very nice. Very nice. All right. All right. Now let's walk by our little cattle panel here and see if we can get these dogs to sit correctly you're going to sit right there and you're going to sit right there very nice and see i'm using this cattle panel to uh, keep the dogs in line very nice very nice let me come around the other side and do that come here nerds so inside turn here right <clears throat> and then i'm going to ask them to sit sit listen big dog you're in the way say do you get up here and sit and see, this works out nice. I have panel, dog, dog, stony, and a giant German short hair. <laughs> so that's not too bad. But uh, let's go up here, and now we're going to use the, the panel as a back block again. Very nice. So I'm going to get the dogs, and I'm going to use my treat to guide them into position. One, two. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Stay. Dogs have to stay under distraction. Good. And this is real hard for them, so you have to be very patient. Those dogs are young. One of them's 15 weeks old or so, and one of them's about 18 or 19 weeks old. Very nice. Very nice. Good. All right, let's get one more repetition and do the whole course. All right, so we're going to go around our barrel. Very nice. Oh, and these other dogs, what these other dogs are doing, that's none of these two dogs' business. It's like what your mom would tell you when you're little. doesn't matter if your friends are jumping off a bridge. doesn't mean you can jump off a bridge. Go on, big dog. Oh, come on, nerd. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, very good dogs. Now I'm going to get me an outside turn. Good. Now Amos Ammo has to go the farthest, so I have to reach over there a little bit. Now I'm going to weave in between these cones. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now I'm going to come up here to my cattle panel. I'm going to get my treat ready to help these dogs sit in a nice straight line. And sit. Now, so this dog's nice and straight. This dog's nice and straight. I would like for this dog to be up here a little closer. This big joker's in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and just lead her into the proper position so that I end up uh, panel, dog, dog, stony. And that's what we're always wanting when we're using the cones. You know, we're trying to get our precision and our speed and accuracy uh, to where we want it. Good. Let's go. 
Now we'll go back to the course. Oh, all right, guys, come on. Let's see if we can make it through this whole course. Oh, with no treats. You guys are doing so well. Oh, very nice. You are such a good leader, Ammo. You're a good little dog. Oh, and look at Sadie following right along. Okay, very nice. Nice loose leash manners. Oh, very nice. Oh, very good. Now, you two be very careful because if you go out in public, you can't be knocking into stuff. Don't knock into my planters. Oh, I love respectful puppies. Very nice. Now, Ammo, take your turn. Be in the... Oh, you go first. Oh, now, Sadie, you come along. And wait. Oh, very nice. Now, come down here. Oh, I'm going to get you a good line on these obstacles. Oh, so we know which ones we're doing. Okay, come on, come on. Up, up, good. Now, Ammo, you go out to the front a little bit. Very nice. Be patient. Pay attention to where your feet are. Come on, Ammo, go on. Good, don't pass him, Sadie. It's a no passing zone. Oh, very nice. Good dogs. Wait. Oh, very nice dog. Easy. Oh, Ammo, you're doing it perfectly. You're such a gentleman. You're setting good example for your little lady friend. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Oh my gosh. Wait. Perfect. Easy. Oh, good dog. Come on, come on, one more time. We're going to go over here and get on the table. Oh, and sit still for a little while. Easy. Very nice. Oh, come on, come on. Very nice. We're almost done. Oh, and get up on that table. Perfect. Sit. Good. And stay. Double Darth Vader hand. Oh, and you guys did the whole course with no treats. So guess what happens now? Oh, some big treats. Oh, big treats, a jackpot. Oh, you guys are smarty smarties. And that's all there is to it, guys. Get out there, get your two labs, <laughs> and walk them around a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's every bit as easy as it looks, I promise. <laughs> so don't send me an email saying it's not. All right, good luck. Oh, you got your two.